Greetings. I'm reading from the Tao Te Ching in English, reading the book Practicing the Tao Te Ching by Solala Tauler. And I'm reading step 17 out of 81 to right now. Having just read a few previous steps, um, quite a few over the last few days, um, recapping step 16 talks about becoming empty abiding in stillness what that means it tranquility and inner sight well that's me referring back to a previous step tranquility original so nature which is constant renewal which leads to nobility of spirit or seeking the eternal unchangeable source uniting with heaven and living eternally without fear love it step 17 which is shorter the highest teacher is not known by others the next highest has followers who love and praise her the next highest has followers who fear her the lowest has followers who scorn her if one does not trust she will be considered untrustworthy. The highest teacher acts in a leisurely manner. She chooses her words carefully and does not waste them. When she accomplishes things, her followers think they have com accomplished it themselves. Okay. The highest teacher is not known by others. I'm going to think that th what that really means is it's the highest teacher is the most effective at teaching in such a way that the te the students that know that have learned have become teachers themselves and the ripple of meaning the ripples of eternal or temporal continually generating meaning flow out from the highest teacher the origin let's say, or the sort, the human source, through multiple generations. That is the highest teacher. And the highest teacher doesn't, the sage doesn't take credit for what the actions or the a thousand beings rise and fall. And the sage takes no, does not take credit for the sage's labors. The next highest has followers who love and praise her. The next highest has followers who fear her. The lowest has followers who scorn her. Another step much later in the Tao Te Ching ref describes um, a person who's a, an advanced sage in the t way of the Tao. And uh, he listens and hears the Tao. Then a lower person, somebody who's lower will listen to it and think it's novel and try to follow it for a time and then disregard it or carry on with their lives because their lives are busy then the lowest let's say the fool maybe from proverbs in the old testament uh, the lowest individual will mock the tao and and then it concludes or it follows up with those three by saying unless unless you start or you Unless a person is has mocked the Tao, they will never attain the the maturity, the highest ta level of sage. And I, I found that so profound because it, it's just an open, quick acknowledgement that everybody does have to walk the path. They have to walk the path for themselves in every aspect of their own lives, maturing or or not, if they grow up and just they're adult children, but. As people, and it doesn't matter, even if people are adult children, it doesn't matter because, well, I mean, it doesn't have to matter. It's not, a, it doesn't have to be a tragedy or, or it's, it's certainly not good to consider that a mockable tra state of being um, because everybody has to mature it through time and 
their own Tao, their own path in life is is their own and not ever, like the Tao that can be spoken is not the true and eternal Tao. It's not the one path is not the same for another person. It'd be nice if we could all follow the most e e efficient, meaningful path. But everybody's unique. So the highest, the next highest has followers who love and praise her. I love it. So like basically one single teacher. This is describing one single teacher, but through time. Or the ass, this is describing a sage. Where the sage originally was lowest and had followers who scorned the sage it developed and that later those followers who were scorning her came to fear her then the sage advances the followers t convert from fearing to loving and praising and they carry on and they become sages themselves they are probably at that point they are probably having their own little followers who are scorning them then later those who love and praise the original sage their followers end up fear fearing them followed by a continual ripple ah oh, drop a pebble in the pond and it's not, not just one ripple that comes out but it's a ripple and ripple and ripple and ripple and ripple and they continually regenerate I love that bit. It's only four lines. However, I'm carrying on. If one does not trust, she will be considered untrustworthy. The highest teacher acts in a leisurely manner. She chooses her words carefully and does not waste them. Yep. If you only have one rock, one word, you better make it count when you throw it into the pond because you got to make the ripples make sense make a difference if you only have one chance to actually say something profound and meaningful to a person it can't be it's to make it cliche it's just well inviting scorn you'd be like I, I guess over time a person learns a sage or a teacher or somebody who's just maturing on their own path in life becomes more aware of the need for accuracy in delivering teaching and action specific act like and also other ref referring back to previous Tao steps the um, I always refer back to step two step two is great or am I thinking step three <laughs> Just one moment. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. Well, it concludes anyway. She chooses her words carefully and does not waste them, but when she accomplishes things, her followers think they have accomplished it themselves. Mm hmm. Not taking credit. I'm good. Yeah, it's in step two. Because of this, that is the essence of dualism, the dual, like before and after follow one another, existence and nothingness are mutually born. Because of this, the sage dwells in the world of non action, Wu Wei, and which is just not overdoing it, and practices teaching without speaking. The 10,000 beings rise and fall, and she makes no claim on them. She creates, but does, does not possess them. She works, but does not take credit for it. Because she does not take credit for her, for her accomplishments, they will last forever. Hmm. When she accomplishes things, her followers think they have accomplished it themselves. So just acting, honing one's aim, focusing, pick, choosing words carefully, and sending the goodness, sending the meaning and the, t the excellence in teaching out to update others and hopefully those will take it on and send the ripples on themselves. 
Excellent.